on. And so we're looking forward to doing what God has called us to do. Now we're on. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, okay. So now, uh, uh, again, giving praises to God and welcome to the Walking in the Scriptures and Speaking the Truth uh, with Pastor Geneva Alexander and yours truly, Prophetess Darlene Spraglin. We thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We're going to go ahead and open up because we got some scriptures that we would love to discuss tonight and to teach tonight. And so that um, you will be blessed and we will also be blessed. Tonight's scripture is coming um, from St. Matthew, the sixth chapter. And I'm going to read the first uh, three, I'm sorry, four, four verses. And it says, take heed that ye do not, I'm sorry, take heed that ye do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your father, which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou dost shine thine arms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou dost alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Thy, that thy alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Yes. I have just read you <clears throat> St. Matthew, the sixth chapter, one through the Fourth verse, may the Lord bless the reader and the hearer of his word. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take the opportunity just to say thank you. Yes, because you're so awesome. Mm -hmm. You're so loving, forgiving. You're so kind. You're so merciful. Yes, thank you for looking beyond our faults and seeing our needs. Thank you for this opportunity to break bread with your people. Now, Father, we decrease and you increase, Holy Spirit. Teach us your hidden truths. Oh God, anoint us with your word of wisdom and the word of knowledge to come forth. Let people receive your word and not just be hearers, but doers also. We pray for our teacher that you would crown her more with your word, with your wisdom, with your knowledge, undergirding her, God, strengthening her, God, anointing her afresh and anew. We thank you for those who are under the sound of my voice and God, we pray for whatever they stand in the need of, that you would meet the need, whether it's physically, spiritually, financially, or even emotionally. Meet your people, God. We yes, need a God. word yes, from you tonight. We need some direction, some instructions, yes. and Lord, we even need some construction. Mm -hmm. God, we don't do everything that we're supposed to do, and we left some things undone you told us to do. Forgive us for all of our sins, the sin of commission and omission. Lord, we pray right now, God, that those who will, who's under the sound of my voice right now and those who will come on later, God, that you would, oh God, fill them up with your Holy Spirit. And lead and direct them, oh God, throughout the rest of this week, if it be your holy will, God. We pray for the sick and the shut-in, the despondent, the bereaved, the troubled in mind. Yes, God, yes, we pray God. for your people, God. Everywhere. Everywhere around Everywhere. this world, yes, God. God, in the name of Jesus, who's calling on you, who's calling on your name. God, who needs to experience an encounter with you and who needs to experience your manifestations. Yes, God. God, we thank you and we feel your presence already in thank this you. place. Yes. God, you. you're welcome, Holy Spirit, welcome. In, the in the name of Jesus, to sup with us as we sup with you. Yes, God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, and it is so and so it is. Yes, it is. For Christ's sake, thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 God bless you tonight. And at this time, without uh, Without further ado, we're going to turn it over to our teacher, my pastor and pastor mom, Pastor Geneva Alexander. God bless you. Thank you, uh, Prophetess 
Spragla, <clears throat> obedience to God and to you that are listening in tonight. We greet you with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We uh, thank God for another opportunity to, to share the word with you tonight. Uh, the Lord gave me a word because he wants you to know tonight that God hear you. Mm, that's that's good. our subject tonight. God hear you. Thank you Lord. A lot of times we pray and we don't get answers right away and we don't think God hears us. But I want you to know tonight, God hears us. Even when we don't speak a word, when we think it in our spirit, yeah. he hears us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And so I want you to be encouraged tonight to know that whatever you're going through, whatever you're going, uh, is happening in your life, remember God hears you. Just wait on an answer. Wait for the answer because wait. the answer will come. Yes, it will. It will come. Yes, it will. <clears throat> Tonight our uh, lesson is coming from Isaiah, the 65th chapter and the 24th verse. Uh, tonight. Amen. Amen. 65, 24. While she's getting that, I'm going to read tonight, uh, read this little, what I've got written on this paper tonight. It says, uh, tonight we are coming out of the book of Isaiah, one of the greatest books of the Bible. Isaiah, one of God's great prophets, with a heart for his people. Mm. He says, come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Come now, and let us reason together. Your sins be as scarlet, mm. they shall be white as snow. Yes. So they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Mm -hmm. If ye will be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Okay. Ye shall eat the good of the land. That comes out of Isaiah 1, 18 through 19. Okay. Yes. All right, our readers read. We're coming out of Isaiah, the 65th chapter, in the 24th verse, and it says, And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. Mm -hmm. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Yes. That is a promise. That's a promise. That's a promise. Mm -hmm. God hear you. Regardless of what you are going through, regardless of what you are in, regardless of how you feel, God hear you. Don't get in the way of your blessings. Hold on to God because he's here you. Thank you, Lord. Don't stop believing. Don't stop trusting. Don't stop receiving what God has for you. Mm -hmm. What he has for you, it is for you and yeah. nobody else. Thank you, Lord. Can't nobody take your blessings from God. Right. Only you can uh, abort your blessings. Hmm. So remember, what sometimes we feel like nobody loves us, nobody cares, nobody uh, sympathizes with us. Because we, when we're going through stuff, we hurt. Amen. We hurt, and we think that no one hears us. All right. But you know what? And a lot of people don't hear you because we got problems of our own. But God always got an ear open to hear his people, what they're saying, what they're needing. Yes, he does. God hears you. Amen. Yes, he does. All right. Our next scripture is coming up from, uh, that's Daniel. No. I think we should read it on me. Okay. That's Daniel 9 and 20. And 23 to 23. Exactly. Walking in the scriptures. We're going from place to place. So you can get familiar with your word. Because a lot of times. You don't always get it in, in the New Testament. You have to go over to the Old Testament. And get the meaning of it. Okay. Daniel. Right. Nine. Okay. 9 and 20. Read. 9 and 20. And it says, and while as I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin mm -hmm. and the sin of my people Israel and presenting my supplication before the Lord my God for the holy mountain of my God. That's 9 and 20. 
to 23. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Yea, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man, Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the seven, uh, about the time of the evening uh, in oblation. Okay. I, my sister. Go ahead. I want to make sure I'm in the right one. 21, yes. Uh -huh. Swiftly right. touched. Touched me about the time of the evening oblation and informed me and talked with me and said, Oh, Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Mm. At the beginning of thy supplication, the commandment came forth, and I am come to show thee. For thou art greatly beloved. Mm. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. The Lord. Now, here Daniel is praying to God for his people. You know, and that's what a lot of us are doing right now. Uh, a, a lot of people need prayer. It, they're going through so much right now. I just heard on the news as I was leaving to come here, I, I heard that they had another shooting with. Oh, wow. Yeah. With the uh, schools, the, the young people, I think three or four of them got killed. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just so much going on. So much. And so much happening that we need to cover people. Yes. We need to cover each other. Each right? other. Amen. Because you know what? You can never get enough prayer. Mm -hmm. You can never get enough encouragement. Mm -hmm. And so we need to do that. My heart just fell in my in my stomach because of the fact that these young people don't have a a, a chance to grow up. Right. And exactly. it's sad. It's sad. So mm -hmm. Daniel is talking and he says he saw an angel mm -hmm. who was Gabriel who he had seen in a vision early and the angel said, Daniel, I have come here to help you understand the prophecy. God always has somebody yes. to help you yes. to understand Thank whatever you, it is that you need to understand. Yes. And when you begin to plead, to pray, to beg mm -hmm. God, he answers you. Yes, he does. Because he heard you. Because he loves you. Mm -hmm. And God hears you when you pray. Yes. So don't give up on praying because that's the way that we get our answers. That's the way we get through what we're going through mm -hmm. is because we're praying our way through. Mm -hmm. And so we have to understand that things are not going to always be the way we want them to be, but they will be the way God wants them to be. And so we look to him for every good and perfect gift. Yes, it comes down from above. Mm -hmm. And so we just have to learn how to pray and fast and wait on God. Right. He may not come when you want him. Right. But he will come. Yes, he will. Oh, he will come. Yes, he will. And he will not delay his coming. Right. Amen. Because he knows when you need it, what time you need it, where you need it, how you need whatever right. you need. God got you. Yes, he does. God's got you. Yes, he does. All right, let's go to our next scripture, which is in Acts 10, uh, 30 through 31. It's 3, 31. It's a long one. Which one is this? Right here. You okay. have 3 through 31. No, darling, that's, that's 10, 3, and the first 31. Oh, okay. So let me find 31. And said Corinthians, thy prayer is heard. And thy arms are had in remembrance in the sight of God. That's it? That's it. That's All one. right. 31. Okay. Did you read 30? No. It was 31. That's what I said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is the day. The Corinthians, I'm sorry. And Cornelius said, four days ago, I was fasting until this hour. And at the ninth hour, I prayed in my house, and behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing and said, Cornelius, thy prayers heard and thy arms are had in remembrance in the sight of God. All right, thank you. 
Some things only come by prayer and fasting. And you know what? That's a lot. Of, that's a lot. What we don't do is to fast. People don't hardly fast anymore like we used to do back in the day. When anything would go wrong, we would fast. Uh, when we had to do a service, we would fast. Whatever that it takes for us to get God's attention, we would do that. That's true. And a lot of times people don't do that now. They don't fast because, you know, they say, I can't fast. Yes, you can. Jesus fasted for 40 days. Yeah, he did. And uh, we, we, we can't even fast for one day. People can't fast for one day, and mm -hmm. he fasted for 40 days for us. Right. For mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And we can't give him one day. Oh, we're terrible people, aren't we? Uh-huh. And so uh, some things only come by prayer, prayer and fasting. Not just prayer alone. But some things you have to lay out before God and, 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 uh, and, and ask him to give you what you stand in need of. Cornelia said he had fasted for four days. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, I was sick. And uh, at my former church in California, and I was sick with a heart problem. And my pastor called a fast for me at the church. And I fasted for three days without eating with a heart problem, okay? Mm -hmm. I was determined to get what? Blessed. Mm -hmm. To get healed, to get delivered. And so I fasted right along with my church. And do you know God did the healing? Well, at the end of the fast, I was healed. Praise God Lord. is awesome. So some things only come by prayer and fasting. And at the ninth hour of that fourth day, a man stood before him in bright clothes, meaning white clothes, shiny clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, and the man said, Cornelius, mm, he called him by his name. God has heard you and your prayer. He heard you pray. Right. And so it's good to know that when somebody can give you a message and say, God heard you. Mm -hmm. Girl, you know, you prayed and he got you, he got you got to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, 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 and prayer will change things. Yes, it will. The situation of things. Yes. And so this, this was an angel coming to let him know. That God heard him. Now God could have told the man himself, but he sent an angel. Yes, he did. And sometimes that's what he'll do. He won't answer you, but he'll send somebody by to answer you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So confirmation. Confirmation. Yeah. yeah. Did you want to say something? No. Go ahead. And so uh, uh, we have to just know that God hears us and just keep doing what we are doing because God loves us and he has taken notice of you. He takes notice of us. He works uh, those of us who work for what charity. Mm -hmm. Do we do do we do any charity, charity work? work anymore? Do yes. we do that anymore? I, yes. I don't really hear of churches doing a lot of charity work anymore. Food banks, food banks, welding well, drives, yeah, mm -hmm. all those kind of things. Most of that's 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 uh, other auxiliaries or, or denominations or whatever. But a lot of us church folks don't do that anymore. I used to do it all the time, charity work. God hears you pray when you are working for him. Now, if you're not working for him, he don't have a reason to hear you pray. Hmm. We'll get to that down further on. But he hears you. He understands what you're going through. He, he, he's there for you to help you to go through what you're going through. You don't have to go alone. You don't have to be by yourself in nothing. You always got a companion. And that's God. Right. He's always there. He never right. leaves you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. He's right there by your side. Let's go to Micah 6 and 8. Micah 6 and 8. And it says, He has showed thee, O man, what is good, and what doeth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, mm -hmm. and to love mercy, mm -hmm. and to walk humbly with thy God. That's six and eight. Okay. There are sometimes God requires something from us. He requires, the Lord has told us what is good, 
what he requires of us is to do what he uh, is uh, telling us to do and also is to be just and to show constant love and to live in humble fellowship with our God. Hmm. God wants to fellowship with us. Amen. Amen. You know, he 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 loves to be loved. Amen. He loves to be loved. And, he, and what happens is he loves to be loved because he what? Is love. Is love. Mm -hmm. And love loves love. Mm -hmm. And so God wants us to be in a humble fellowship with him. Speak to him. Talk to him. Love on him. Let him know that you love him and you thank him for all of the things that he does for you. Yes. And the more you praise him, the more you thank him, the more you serve him, the more God will do for you. Yes, he will. It's just like when you have a good husband. Yes. Whatever it takes, mm -hmm. that husband tries to make the wife happy. Yes, he does. Yeah, I know that for sure. And so he loves for you to tell him that he's good. Yes. He's kind. He's yes. loving. Yes. He's understanding. Baby, I understand what you're going through. Right. You know, and that's what God wants that too from us. That's mm -hmm. when we praise him and worship him in spirit and in truth. Right. He loves that. And the more you do that for him, the more that he'll do it for you. Right. Oh, I know. I Because, honey, he, I love on him all the time. That's my lover. Jesus is my lover. I walk around the house and I tell him how much I love him. I thank him all through the night. I wake up and tell him, God, I just love you so much. I praise you for taking care of me, for watching out for me, looking out for me, for helping me do yes. things like this I didn't think I could do. do. Da, right. da, da, da. I mean, come on. Yes. He wants to hear that from us. Right. He wants that from us. Let's go to Deuteronomy now, 6 and 4. Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Deuteronomy 6 and 4, and it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, he says, Hear, O Israel. He's talking to his people, mm -hmm. and we are his people, mm -hmm. and he's talking to us. Remember this the Lord and the Lord alone is our God. Yes. There's no other God beside God, the everlasting God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. There's none, no other than him. Mm -hmm. There is no other God before him nor after him. He is God all by himself. Yes, he is. And he don't need nobody else to be God with him. Right. He owns everything. He yes. created everything. Yes. He has everything. Yes. And everything belongs, belongs to him. him. Yes. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. Yes. So when, who wouldn't serve a God who have everything? everything. Right. Anything. All mm -hmm. things. Whatever you want, God's got it. Yes, he does. If you want it, he's got it. Right. And you know what? We have to get in a position to mm -hmm. receive it. Right, that's true. We got to get in a position to receive it. He's mm -hmm. got it. And he's going he's going to give it to you when you what? Come over on his side. Right. Why would he fatten you over on somebody else's side? Mm -hmm. Over there with the devil. Mm -hmm. No, God says, "Come ye now." Right. And serve me with your whole heart. Mm -hmm. And he'll bless you beyond you know, Pastor, I was just thinking when you were saying that, you know, a lot of times because people don't have that relationship with God, yeah, they don't experience those things. Exactly. You got to have the relationship. Because you're on two sides. Mm -hmm. And you got to be only on one. Mm -hmm. And when you sell out, give your heart completely to him. Mm -hmm. And you begin to read his word. Yes, study. Study his word. Mm -hmm. And do the principles of his word. Mm -hmm. And what happened is, things will start turning around for you. But as long as people are straddling the fence, right. 
you make him sick to his stomach. Yeah. And he don't even want to deal with you because he want he just wants to spew you out of his mouth. Yeah, he definitely will. Because you can't be lukewarm. No, no. You no. gotta be hot no. or cold. Mm -hmm. And I preferably want to be all the way hot. Right. Because what happened is when God has been good to you and has shown himself that he loves you, right. you ought to reciprocate that love. That's right. That's you exactly ought to be right. able to want to say, look, God, here I am. Mm -hmm. All of me. Here's all of me. What do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm tired of I'm tired of being a defeated person. Yeah. I'm tired of living on the edge. I'm tired of living riotously. I'm, I'm, I'm just worn out. Yes. When you get tired of a thing, you know what to do with it. <laughs> Pastor Mom here tells me you'll know what to do. Yeah, you will. And you will know what to do. Mm -hmm. Because what happened is you'll run to him. Yes. And you'll stretch out. And you'll begin to what? Repent. Mm -hmm. You'll begin to say, God, I'm sorry. I wish I had known better. I wish I hadn't done this or that and the other. Now here I am. Take all of me. Right. And take all the stuff out of me that you don't want in there. That's it. And put in me what you want inside of me. Right. Because I'm willing now. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to go all the way. Right. Because I want that relationship with you. Right. I want to be able to experience you from level to level, faith to faith, the glory to glory. I want to be able to experience you. I want you to show me stuff. Yes. And he will. That I didn't even know. He will definitely do that. He'll do that. Yes, he will. I was speaking to a young lady just the other day. And you know what? Uh, Pastor Mom had told me, she said, whenever God puts something in your spirit or a person in your spirit, you need to go and what? And either call that person, make sure that person is okay. And so what happened is I had a dream that I was driving my car. I'm in L.A. and I'm driving. All of a sudden, I'm on a bicycle. I said, no, why am I on a bicycle? That's what I said in the dream. And I passed the young lady that I was thinking about. And I said, oh, my God, there she is. I said, was that her? I said, oh, I don't think so. The Holy Spirit said, go back and see. Well, when I went back to see, it was her. And she said, I was just thinking about you. I said, and I was thinking about you too. But this is all in a dream. When I got off, uh, when I got up and I got into my, I call it my easy chair, the Holy Spirit said, call her. Mm -hmm. And I called her at that precise time. And she was saying, I said, you know what? I had a dream about you and I had to call and make sure you were okay. She said, that's really something that you would say that. I'm sitting in the hospital parking lot. I said, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Because we don't know what's going on, but God will give you an assignment, a word, a thought, an idea. He'll give you a vision, a dream, because that's how he speaks and in his word. And we have to what? Follow through. That's it. Because we don't know why the, the Lord put that person in our path, but he will what? Confirm his word. And we got to talk about the prophetic. And we were talking about how how God loves us so. And how she said he be showing me stuff. I can't even understand it. I said, well, sweetie, you need to ask him. Yeah. Who is this for? Mm -hmm. Why are you showing me this? What do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. How do you want me to handle this? Mm -hmm. Because he doesn't waste his time, his seed, or his anointing. Mm -hmm. Because there is a reason why. And we just got to be about our father's business. We don't all know the answers. No, we don't. But he does. He does. You have to what? Mm -hmm. Ask him. Ask he of the Lord. You have to ask him. Mm -hmm. Lord, why are you showing me this? Right. I don't understand this. Well, am I supposed to do something? Mm -hmm. He'll tell you. Yes, he will. Because when you have that again, relationship with him, he'll definitely tell you. Yes, he will. He'll, he'll tell, tell you. Tell you. And, and not only that, he'll show you visions and dreams. That yes. That's the way he speaks. That's the way Sometimes he speaks. Sometimes he will speak to your natural ear. Yes, he will. Yes, he uh, will. I, I was lying in my bed and the God just spoke in my ear. I could hear him and I knew it was him. And he was telling me some things and, 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 and I said, God, thank you for giving me answers that I had been asking mm -hmm. for such a long time. But it yes, wasn't time. It wasn't time, time yet. Time. 
but when he gave me the answers, it was right on time. Mm -hmm. So God is an awesome God. Mm -hmm. And we just got to learn how to serve him in spirit and in truth. Once we do that, we'll be doing just fine. Let's stop playing with God. God is, my mother used to say, God is not a play pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and what she meant was God was not a toy. toy right. <laughs> but she used to call it a play pretty. And so, but I understand what she was saying. You can't play with God. Right. You gotta be, you gotta be for him or against him. There's no in between. No in between. No in between. Let's go to our next scriptures in Mark, the 12th chapter and the 29th verse. 1229, that's a good year. And it says, and Jesus answered him, the first of all the commandments is hear, O Israel. Mm -hmm. The Lord our God is one Lord. That's him. One That's Lord. him. One, one Lord. faith and mm -hmm. one baptism. That's him. Mm -hmm. That's Jesus him. responds to the scribes in verse 28. Who asked a question, mm -hmm. which is the first commandment? Of all. And I like what Jesus answered. And he replies, the most important one of all mm -hmm. is listen. <laughs> oh Israel. Listen. Hear me. Hear. Come on. Come on. Hear. And you know, and this is what this is what a lot of times we don't hear God because we don't listen. Mm. You know, I, I, I was doing a um, a conference one year and and I had about three different speakers. And uh, one lady said to me, oh, it's just too much. It's just too much uh, because uh, we can't, um, you know, process all of this from all these people. I said, well, darling, you know what? Get what you came for. Get your answer. Get what you can get out of it. Right. I said, because everybody is here. It's right. something for everybody. Right. You know, it might not come out of this person or mm -hmm. that person, but it's gonna come. It's a specialist. It's a in the specialist house. in the house somewhere mm -hmm. for you. Exactly. And so God, you know, she tried to make me like get upset. I said, No, I know what I'm doing because mm -hmm. I know that God speaks to everybody in His own way. Yes, He does. Somebody gonna get something. That's out. true. Everybody gonna get something. That's true. You know, every every sermon that a preacher preaches is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. But it's something in the sermon for you. Right, exactly. You just have to tune in right. and zoom in mm -hmm. and get what you can get out of it for you. Stay focused, yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm just saying you have to stay focused. Yeah, because you know what? Mm -hmm. I, I, a lot of times I had to wait almost to the end of the sermon before I could get what was mine. Mm -hmm. But I knew God had something for me. Right. So I stayed focused until I heard what the preacher was saying. And then I said, oh, God, I hear you. Mm -hmm. I hear now. I see, I see now. I understand. I understand. I got it. Oh, I got this. I got this. I hear you, Lord. Yes, mm -hmm. I hear you, Lord. Yes. Uh -huh. So the main thing about us is we need to listen, mm -hmm. hear, right, and understand mm -hmm. what God is saying to you. Amen. Right, right. All right. God bless you. God bless you. Hear, O Israel, he says. Mm -hmm. Listen, Israel. Hear this. The Lord our God is the only God. Good God of mine. He's the only Lord. He loves the Lord. We love the Lord. Your God, with all of your heart, love him. Mm -hmm. With all of your soul, love him. With all of your mind and with all of your strength, love him. That is the first commandment. Is to hear right and to listen, mm -hmm. and all the others will fall in line. Mm -hmm. Hear, listen, hear. Saints of God, we have to learn to listen. God wants us to hear what He saying to us. He wants us to, to be silent. Mm -hmm. God Almighty. Sometimes we talk too much, sometimes we're in the way of others. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And so we need to what? Listen. Right. Get that ear to listen. Open up your eyes, your heart, your mind, your spirit, and your soul. Mm -hmm. But most of all, open up your ears. That is, that will travel to those most important parts 
of your body. Open up your ears. Mm -hmm. Some people got closed ears. They don't hear nothing. And it's not because they're deaf. It's just that they don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. They're distracted. They, yeah, they're distracted. And they think that they know it all. That's true, too. And so they don't want to hear nobody else. But open up. And honey, a baby can tell you something. That's true. I mean, I watch children on the TV. I, they don't have no, no, no grandbabies or nothing. Mm -hmm. But I have grandbabies. They're older. But mm -hmm. No great grands. No great grands. Mm -hmm. And I watch these little children, and I watch how astute they are. They, 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 they come up with ideas that you ain't never heard of. Exactly. They're coming into entrepreneurship at early age. Right. Four, four, five, five, six, five, six, seven, six, eight, six. eight years old. Yes. They, because you know why? They are hearing. Right. They're listening, mm -hmm. and they hear, and when they hear, they go do it. Right, they go do it. And that's what we need to do. When we hear, we need to go what? Get involved. Mm -hmm. Do what, what God is what saying what to do. Tell you what to do. Oh, bless his holy name. God bless you. You want to say something on that first? Yeah, you, you said something a few minutes ago, and it, it, it escaped me, but it was something about listening. Um, like I said, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Even when you're studying your word and you get to reading and you, so much information start to just come down. So yeah. it's like heavy on your head. It just be so, ooh, so thick. Mm -hmm. You have to back up and just sit quietly. Exactly. For a while. Mm -hmm. And let that word consume you. Right. And let it go, get all on the inside of you. Even when you're just reading the word. And sometimes you're just reading. And again, you have to be in a place of quietness. I, I, I found a place where I like to read. And it's in a chair. Hmm. And this particular chair is like my long time with God. Even though um, when my husband's at work, when my daughter comes in and out, whatever, I'm in that place of quietness. Yeah. Because I have had my ear what in tune mm -hmm. to hear him. Yes. Give me some directions and right. some instructions. Mm -hmm. Because I want to be able to fulfill whatever he calls me to do. Right. And so we have to find that place of quietness. Mm -hmm. That's just between you and God. That's it. Nobody gets to intervene in that place. Right. Nobody gets to come and disturb you in that place. Mm -hmm. When I'm in my room, there's another side of my room that I that I study. And when my husband comes in, he knows he just goes straight on in. What do you do? Come straight on out, close the door. Because that's my time alone with God. Same thing with him. He'll go in and he'll start studying and then I'll come in and I say, well, I'm not going to bother him because I like to just bother him. Yeah. And what happened is <laughs> what happened? he over there shaking his head. <laughs> what happened is he, um, he, he gets to the point where I need him to get from God what he's what, seeking God for. Exactly. Because that's your personable time with God. Right. You want nobody and nothing to interfere with. Exactly. When I call Pastor Mom and she said, well, I'm studying. I said, okay, I'll call you later. Again, because that's precious time. Yeah, it is. And when God is speaking, you know what? I found out he don't repeat itself. No. If you miss it, you got to say, oh, God, I'm so sorry. Please, I got distracted. Lord, bring it back to my remembrance. I know you don't repeat yourself. And he'll do it. But normally he does not repeat itself. So you have to tune in in order to hear him and to hear him precisely because we need to be what bold in what we do for him. Right. And we got to be obedient, obedient what we do for him. That's right. Yes, ma'am. That's right. And only what you do for Christ is going to last. It's going to last. Oh, bless his name. Oh, I tell you, I tell you, God is good. Let's go to Isaiah 43, 1. And then seven verse. Isaiah 43, 1 and 7. The first verse says, But now thus said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, 
Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Verse number seven says, even everyone that is called by my name, mm -hmm. for I have created him for my glory. Mm -hmm. I have formed him. Mm -hmm. Yea, I have made him. He's mine. He's mine. So I belong to God. That's it. <laughs> I love it. I belong, I belong to, God. to God. And he tells them. And he belongs is. to me. Hear God the Lord. Lord. Hear the Lord. Mm. He wants you to understand this when you say, hear the Lord. Yeah. God is speaking to his people. Yes. When he said, Israel, he called yes. you by name. By your name. Put your name where Israel yes. is. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The Lord who created you. Yes. Does not want us to mm -hmm. be afraid. Mm -hmm. I will save you, he said. Yes. I will create you. Mm -hmm. I created you by and called you by your name. Yes. Every one of you are mine. Mm -hmm. See, God God is taking what? Ownership. Ownership. Nobody else can take that ownership. Oh, Jesus. He thank said, you, I created you. Yes. Yes. I made you. Yes. In my image and after my likeness, yes. I yes. did it. Yes. <laughs> God Almighty. Woo. Thank you, God. Pass the law. Mm. When God calls you for a specific assignment, mm -hmm. Or a specific position. Yeah. He calls you by your name. I remember when I was a little girl uh, and Pastor Ma was on her way at the time. She was Sister Alexander, was on her way to church. And I was sick at home. And I know that she was um, gone out of the house because I just said, okay, I'll see you later. Be careful. And about five minutes later, I heard her voice in the back of the house saying, Darlene. And I was saying, yes. And I was just washing dishes. And she didn't say nothing else. I said, why is she calling me? And then I heard the voice again, Darlene. And then it hit me. Now I just said goodbye to her hmm. walking out the door. Now how come I'm hearing her in the back? But again, he what calls you what by name? By name, that's right. He calls you by name. You and you know what? You are hearing. Yeah, you will. And you're the only one that hears. Who? Come on now. You nobody else don't hear. Come you. on. He called me at three years old, and I, I I never will forget it. I was behind the well, and I was eating dough that my mother had made biscuits, and I had mm. got me a little piece of dough and went behind the well. You know, I didn't want her to say you ain't supposed to be eating that. But anyway, I went behind the wheel and then I heard this boy, Geneva. Mm -hmm. And I say, ma'am, that's what we used to say back in the day. And that, and so I went in the house. I said, mom, did you call me? She said, no, baby, I didn't call you. Three times. Come on, I heard that come voice. Come on, come on. And I went three times. So she said, no, I'm not calling you. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear that voice no more until God called me. And, uh, told me I had to preach. <laughs> and so what happened was he calls you. Yes, he does. And when he calls you, mm -hmm. you will know it's him. When that second time that he called me, I was like in my 20s, almost 30s. Mm -hmm. And what happened was I went all both sides of my house thinking that my neighbors had called me. And they said, no, to me, but we didn't call you. No, to me, I said, no. I know I heard people somebody call me. And I was sitting at my dining, my uh, breakfast nook table. I was sitting there and I was just looking out and I was in a trance. <laughs> in a trance, just trying to figure out what happened. Because mm -hmm. I knew I heard voice. I heard this voice. No, I mean, you know, I heard it. It sounded like my neighbor's voice. I understand. And I say, okay, okay. And I was sitting there meditating, didn't say nothing. So when I went to church at three o'clock in the morning, I got so excited with God, what he was doing. We was praying for a building for, for my, my, my sister in love. At that time, we were praying hard and fasting and asking God for a building. And, it, and the Holy Spirit came up in that church at three o'clock in the morning. And I tell you, he just showered everybody. And I said, Lord, I'll do whatever you tell me. Don't you never tell God that if you don't mean it. Come on. 
That's Whatever you say, I'll do it, Jesus. I'll do it. Okay, and I heard him say, preach. I said, oh, no, Lord, I can't do that. I, I, <laughs> I said, no, I can't do that. But you don't bargain with God. Mm -hmm. You can't bargain with him. No. Whatever, it's not a that he, whatever he's got for you, you're going to get. That's true. I don't care what it is. You will get it, whatever he's got for you. Whatever your intentions was, Coming into this world, you're going to do it before you leave out of here. That's true. Now, now that is the truth. Pastor Mom, I need to say this. I remember one particular time when I prayed and I asked God for Let's something. Be careful. And the Lord, now I'm, I, I'm waiting for an answer. And what he did was he said in a nice, polite voice, move. Hmm. And I heard him. I said, okay, Lord. And I just kept on doing what I was doing. Just going here and there. Just going here and there. And I went to work one evening at the sheriff's department. And the second time I heard him, it was a little bit more forceful. He said, move. Yeah. I said, okay, Lord, I, 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 I hear you. I, I, I'm going to move. I'm going to move. The last time, <laughs> it was so powerful. I thought the whole building heard. He said, move! I said, yes, Lord. Got on the phone, start calling what I was supposed to be done doing the first time. I did it the third time. And had I not done it the third time, I might not have been sitting here today. Mm -hmm. Because again, you can't waste God's time. No. You can't waste his seed, mm -hmm. his anointing. No. You can't mess over his word. If you ask him to do something for you, make sure you want him to do it. Don't play with God. He ain't a play pretty. <laughs> Don't play with him. He's not nothing to play with. He's serious, and yes. we need to take him seriously. That's right. Yes. Yeah, he's not a God that you can play with. Mm -hmm. That verse 7 says, you are my own people, mm -hmm. and I created you to bring me glory. Mm. That's why we were created to bring God glory. Right. And we should give him all the glory and the praise and the honor and everything that belongs to him. Mm. For the Lord said, I am the Lord. Yes. I am the Lord. Yes. That is my name. Yes. My glory will mm -hmm. I not give to another. No, no, no. Neither my praise to graven in Come on. I'm not giving up nothing, God said, because <laughs> I created you. And you belong to me. And when you Jesus. come into the world and you accept him, you mm. can't get away from him. No. You might backslide, but he said, I'm married to the backslide. Mm -hmm. You can't even get away from him. Can't get away Once from he him. puts his approval on you, yes. that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. When you mm. really, really, really have sold out to God mm -hmm. and you backslide from him, he's going to get you back. Mm -hmm. Because why? He created you for yes. his own glory. And he won't share and his he glory. will not share it with another. I am so grateful. Whenever God does something for me, I am truly grateful. Oh, yeah, I am too. And I give him the praise and the glory and the honor. And I say, God, thank you. And when you know what? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord says, when God uses you in ministry, don't you take that glory for you. Oh, no. Jesus, no. Don't you do it. That's a detrimental sentence. Don't because. you take it because it belongs to him. Right. We can't do nothing of our own, on our oh, own. No. Of our own. We don't even have the capability to do it. Mm -hmm. So we have to be so careful to make sure when God blesses us, when he heals us, when he brings us out of some trouble, when he brings us over uh, what the bridge, and when 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 he comes in and 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 just showers us, mm -hmm. we gotta give him praise and glory. That's it. That's what he wants. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. If it I hadn't do. been for you, yeah, ah, where would I be? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for healing me, mm -hmm. giving me another chance and another opportunity to do what you called me to do. Right. Thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. for blessing my neighbor. Mm -hmm. Don't be so selfish to be all about you. you right. Thank you for blessing my children. Right. Thank you for blessing my enemy. Yes. You, you right. got to do it. Right. Right. 
Oh, because when you start saying thank you, it, it makes, makes room for more. Yes, yes, it God does. Almighty. Oh, yes. yes, it does. Thank you for that thumbs up. Yes. It makes room for more. Yes. If you want more, start thinking. That's it. The more you're thinking, the stop, more you'll get. Stop complaining mm -hmm. and start thanking them. Yes. Even when you're down and out, thank him. Thank him. Mm -hmm. It could be worse. That's right. But I'm right here, and you right here with me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good God Almighty. Thank, thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Yeah. That's what he wants. The praises of his people. Yes. Let's go to Isaiah 55 and 3. Isaiah 55 and 3, and it says, Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. My God. Mm. Now, what, what he's saying, he says, Listen, my people, come close mm -hmm. to me. Don't be so far away from me. Mm -hmm. Don't stand far off from me. Come close to me. Lower your head and your body to bow down to me. Mm. Yeah, we have to learn how to bow to the Lord. We don't do that no more. No. We don't get down on our knees like we used to. Well, I'm old now. I can't get down there like I used to. But I bow my head before him. Mm -hmm. And he wants you, he wants you, he wants you to be in his ear. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He want to hear what you're saying to him. Amen. And he want you to hear him when he's saying stuff to you. Bow down to him. Come close to him. There was this, uh, this girl used to sing at the prophet's house, come closer to me. Mm -hmm. Closer to me. Uh-huh. That's what God wants us to do. And he wants us to, uh, 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 to, 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 to listen to him mm. and hear him. Okay. What he's saying to us. Okay. Uh -huh. to, to hear what I have to say unto you. Come close to me. I just want to whisper in your ear. Yeah. Don't you love for your husband or your male friend, or if you got one, don't you like for him your to wife. whisper sweet things in your ear? Mm -hmm. God wants that same opportunity. Yeah. And that's what he's yeah. telling us to do. And he says, and you will have life when you do that. He'll give you life. He says, I will make an everlasting covenant with you and give you the blessings that I promised to David. Wow. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. So wow. God has promised some things to you. And mm. you're waiting on them. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Oh, it will come. It will come. It will come. It will come. Yes, it will come. Let's go to James 1, 19 through 21. It will come. i got to rush there with the time is far spent. James 1, 19 through 21. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, mm -hmm. slow to speak, mm -hmm. slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness mm -hmm. and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. My God. We as God's children should be swift to hear him. Mm -hmm. What thus saith the Lord? Remember this, everyone must be quick to listen, but slow to speak mm -hmm. and slow to become angry. Right. Can't get angry. Stop getting so angry with people all the time because people will get you and messed up. Yeah. They will send, get you uh, sent to hell. And, and, and they, you know what? You think they're going to uh, hell, but they'll be going to heaven and they'll get you off on the wrong track and you will miss heaven and go to hell. My, my, be my. swift. Okay, don't get angry with folks too much. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's not good because folks, now they do get angry with them because they're crazy. Right. They're not like what they used to be. No, they're not. And so we have to be careful. Don't get angry with them, okay? Uh, uh, and don't be arguing and doing all that kind of stuff. This does not achieve God's righteousness and his purpose when we do that. Mm -hmm. So get rid of every filthy habit and all wicked conduct. Mm, submit mm -hmm. yourself to God. Mm -hmm. Accept his word mm -hmm. that he plant in your heart. 
which is able to save you and to keep you from falling. Yes. God Almighty. To keep you from falling. When you keep your mind stayed on Jesus, mm -hmm. he'll say, I'll keep you in perfect peace. And God knows we need some peace today. Oh, yes. God knows. Let's go to First Peter. Before you leave there. Okay. I'm rushing. As Pastor was saying, um, we have to be so careful nowadays. I don't know what is happening in your neighborhood, in your community, but these people over here, they done lost their minds. Yeah. I mean, you can't even look at a person when you're driving. Yeah. Because what happened is they'll think that you're trying to be funny or something. And what happened is they'll come up and uh, start messing with you and, and start trying to uh, make you get vex angry and vex you yeah. and stuff and, 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 and give you the bird and all kind of other things and stuff. But you have to keep your cool. Yeah, you have to. Like the man said, be cool. Be cool. You got you got to you got to be cool. You got to keep yourself under the subjection of Christ. You got to stay there. Don't allow the enemy to draw you away out of your character. Out of your character. Right. Don't allow him to do that. Right. He's festering now. Mm -hmm. And he knows where he's headed. And like she said, he want to take people with him. Oh yeah. He Don't does. allow him to take you with That's him. It. That's it. And you know what? You gotta say no. I'm not doing this today. I'm not going there. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. I know who I am in Christ. I'm gonna stay right where I've been planted, and just be singing and humming and keep going down the road. Mm -hmm. Pay them no attention. Right. Yes. Because people are. I mean, the devil is running rampant. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He, he can't run rampant by himself. He got to have somebody to run rampant in. Right. Don't let it, you be that person. Don't, mm -mm. don't you be that person. Don't Let's go to our, 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 another, our, one of our main scriptures tonight is 1 Peter 3 and 12. We're getting there. Okay. Almost 3 there. and 12. 1 Peter. Mm -hmm. Peter, Peter, 1 Peter. 1 Peter 3 and 12. For the eyes of the Lord mm -hmm. are over the righteous. Yes. And his ears are open unto their prayers. Mm -hmm. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. My God, my God. God hears you. God is watching you. He hears you. His eyes is over the righteous. That means his people. His people. Mm -hmm. Right. And his, his ears people. are open unto their prayer. Right. When we pray, God hear us. Mm -hmm. Don't you not think that he does not hear you? Right. Keep praying. Keep praying. Because he will answer. Yes, he will. But he opposes those who do evil. You don't worry about nothing. Don't you worry about things, little simple things, or even the big things. Don't worry about that because mm -hmm. God's got you. Right. Nothing because God's got you. Don't worry about nothing. Yes. Yes, God Almighty. Nothing. You know, when I first came here, I, 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 I used to worry a lot. Because I didn't have, I didn't know where it was coming from because I always depended on my husband. And and, and the Lord took him away and uh, took him all home to be with him and left me here. And I had bills on top of bills. I don't, I didn't know how I was going to pay those bills. I don't even know how I paid the bills. It wasn't me. Right. It was him. Right. And then I had a girlfriend who lived in California and her husband died. And she said I was sending her money. In the mail, I, every so often she'd get a check from me. I said, how do you get a check from me when I didn't even know how? I, I didn't even know that, you know, that I didn't have no money. <laughs> but she said, yeah, you sent me checks several times. I said, good. I, I know it had to be God because right. I didn't have no money. Exactly. The God of my God is an awesome God. He will supply your every need. He's a keeper. Yes, he is. He's a keeper. So He's don't worry keeper. about nothing because God's got you. Keep praying. Mm -hmm. Keep fasting. Keep trusting, keep believing, mm -hmm. keep watching, keep waiting, and hold on to God's unchanging hand. Keep holding on. Don't give up. Don't give in. Yeah. And don't give out. Yeah. Shando because God's got you. He may not come when you want him. Mm -hmm. oh, but he will come yeah. and he will be right on time. So wait, I say. Yeah. Wait on the Lord. Get God Almighty. Wait on him. Regardless of how long that it takes. Let's go to Psalms 9, 91, 15 through 16. Before you get there, I hear the Lord saying that there's someone on the line that's been having it real hard. And 
you've been praying and you've been hoping and wondering where help was coming, God said, I got you. Yeah, I got you. And I'm going to answer your prayer speedily. Mm. Don't give in. Don't sell out. Don't do what many you used to do to try and make it over. Just wait on God. Wait on God. Wait on God. He said, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. I got it. I'm coming with my arms wide open and I got something for you. My God. So just trust him. Mm -hmm. You may not can trace him, but, but just trust, trust him. him. Yes. He's he's there. I, I, I'm a living witness. He's there. Mm -hmm. I was telling someone the other day, I said, you think that I go outside and pull money off trees? I said, I wish I could. Uh -huh. I said, but I had to trust God myself. Yes, Lord. I had to do that when I lost my job through uh, disability. I had to trust that the money that I used to bring home is not there anymore. And the Lord showed me and told me, he said, you needed me, not the job. My God. And so he has proven to me that he's there, even with our husband. He's there. He made up the difference. So whatever you are struggling, don't give in to that temptation. Stay with God and watch him work it out. That's for someone online right now. All right. God bless you, prophetess. All right, let's go to uh, Psalms 91, 15 through, through 16. And it says, he shall call upon me, mm -hmm. and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. Yes, Lord. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. God is saying. I will save those who love me mm. and protect them who acknowledge me as Lord. When they call to me, I will answer them. When they are in trouble, I will be with them. Thank you, Lord. I will rescue them. Thank you, Lord. And honor them. Yes. I will reward them with long life. Thank you, Jesus. And show them my salvation. Oh, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God has shown me I'm 81 years old, and, I, and somebody told me I would never live to see it. But all of those who said I wouldn't see it, they did and gone. Yeah. I'm still living. Mm -hmm. Because I love God and because I serve God and because I've always been there with God and God has always been there with me. Jesus. He said, I will not leave you or forsake you. I yes. will go on with you always. Yes. Yes. Even yes. until the end of the world. Oh, bless his holy name. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. bless yes. his holy name. Just remember the night, saints. God's got you. He got you. He hears you. Yes, he does. He knows what you're standing in need of. Yes, he does. He knows how he's going to get you out of what you're in. Yeah. Just wait on the Lord. Wait, I say. Woo! On the Lord. On the Lord. Wait. wait. Shall strengthen our heart. Wait, I yes. say. Let's go to Isaiah 41, 17 through 18. We're coming down to our last scripture. This is the last scripture. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faded of thirst. I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water mm. and the dry land springs of water. Good God, God hears you. God hears you. He will answer your prayer. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things will be added unto you. What things? What whatsoever things? you need. Whatsoever you stand in need of. Whatsoever yes. you desire. Yes. Whatsoever you want from God. Yes. Just know God's got you. He hears you. Yes. He will answer you. I want to leave this last verse. I want to, I, I want to share this with you. And we're going to let you go. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. 
He giveth power to the spank. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the young shall faint mm -hmm. and be weary. Yes. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord yes. shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Yes. They shall run and not be weary. Yes. They shall walk and not faint. Yes. The Lord's got you. Yes, he does. He'll keep you in perfect he peace. Yes, he will. He'll keep your mind straight on it. Woo! Yes. He'll God up in here yes. tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Just wait on it. Wait on it. He will come. He will he come. He shall come. He shall he come. He must come. Yes, he because will. Because he's a God of his word. Yes, he is. He is his word. Yes, he is. And his word, word is him. Yes. Wait on God. Yes. Because God hears you. Yes, he does. God bless you tonight. God bless you. God Woo! bless you. God bless you tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He hear you, saints. He hear you. Some of you have been waiting a long time, but just keep waiting. Yes. Woo! You're at the brink of your blessing. Yes. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Keep watching. Don't get discouraged. Yes, God's got you. He's got you. He's got you. God bless you tonight. God bless you tonight. God too, bless Pastor. you. Tonight. What an awesome lesson. God bless you. What God an awesome you. lesson. I hope you all Woo. are being blessed and that you got what you came for. Yeah. Like I said, there's a specialist in the house, and the specialists are always dealing in the same area. Mm. Somebody may need something for their head, and somebody may need something for their stomach. Somebody might need something for their ears, and somebody might need something for their feet. Whatever you stand in need of, I hope you received it tonight because God answers. He's got, got you and he answers. I am truly a living witness that God answers prayer. Oh, I am too. Spiritually, financially, physically, physically whatever. whatever. He has yes. met my need. Yes. And he has delivered me. And I tell you, I thank God so much for that. I can't thank him enough. And um, many of you heard some of the testimony that I had regarding a uh, stroke that I suffered in 2018. And even right now, I thank God because he's still working on me. Yeah. And I thank God for that. And I thank God because he has put me with some very, very good people in ministry. I'm talking about people who will pray with you, yeah. pray for you. Yeah. People who will look, call you, look after you. Uh, we have some outstanding sister churches, is what yes, we call them. We do. Yes, and we do. I tell you, uh, they all went to bat for me. It's good to have people praying with you yes. uh, and for you. Yeah. It's good to know that somebody loves you and cares for you. Right. And I truly thank God so much for that as well. And God bless you. I believe uh, that uh, I'm going to call this name out. Um, Marie Rio Wilson. I believe, and I'm not mistaken, that's Gloria Wilson online. It looks like her. Give me a thumbs up. If that's good. Yeah, okay. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I said that looks like Gloria on that line. But God bless you tonight. There's so many people Ooh. online tonight. Bless you. Tonight. And it's so good to see you all to take time from your busy schedules. To those who are sitting way in the back when we first came on, uh, we had some, uh, uh, a glitch was about to happen and the Lord let me see it. And there were 74 people lined up to come on. So I'm believing they're still back there in the back. Thank you for tuning in. Those in the balcony, those in the foyer, wherever you may be sitting, on your jobs right now, in school, wherever you are, around the world. Again, we're on both uh, platforms, so you might be early morning or late night. I hope my nephew's he's over in Japan. I hope he's watching because he got Facebook now, too. But I thank God so much for all of you, truly, and for uh, just coming on and sharing uh, in the Word with us and hope that you've been blessed. Meet us here on Friday night. We're back with the uh, Sunday School Golden Nuggets. We have an outstanding a lesson coming up this first Sunday is already December tomorrow. You all in that something already December already here at the end of the year. And you know what? 
We just got to be so grateful and thankful that the Lord allowed us to make it this far. This far. By uh, his grace. By his love. grace. Yes. And to all of those who have lost loved ones uh, during this season, we are praying for you. Yes. And if you have a prayer request, you can shoot us over our email at dfcmservant at gmail.com. And we will uh, go over the uh, prayer list and pray for you online as well. I'm going to ask tonight if my husband will come. He's in the background, but we're going to ask him to come around close so you all can see him. you okay, babe. We want to ask him to pray for you that's online tonight and ask God to, uh, to bless you, whatever you stand in need of. And um, we just thankful uh, for that. Before he comes, yes. if anybody in the audience that don't know the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and this word has touched you tonight, we ask that you would repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus forgive me. Forgive me. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. I ask that you would come into my heart. I ask that you would come into my heart. And live in me. And live in me. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you are the Son of God. That you died. That you died. You were buried. You were buried. You rose. You rose. And you ascended on high. And you ascended on high. And you're sitting on the right side of God. And you're sitting on the right side of God. Interceding right now for me. Interceding right now for me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Save me. Save me. And write my name. And write my name. In your book. In your book. The book of life. The book of life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you pray that prayer, I'm going to ask that you would also send your confession to us at DFCM Servant at gmail.com. God bless you. And now my husband's going to pray. This evening, our Heavenly Father, so again, dear Lord, we come acknowledging that you are God and besides you there is another. Yes. Father God, we Thank come you, giving you all the Praise and the glory because it all belongs to you. Yes, Jesus. Father God, we know that you sit high and you look low. Yes. yes. Father God, we ask that you would touch this evening, oh yes. God. Yes, Jesus. Touch the ones that's online, God. Yes, yes. Father Jesus. God, have mercy on the sick, God. Yes, have Jesus. Have mercy on the bereaved families. Yes, tonight, Jesus. God. Yes. Oh, Father God, go in the sick rooms, God. Yes, yes. Lord. Oh, Father God, we know that you are the doctor that never lost the Never the lost the and we just want to thank you right now, God, thank for you, the Jesus. victory, God. For the victory. We thank you, Father God, for the word that came forth yes, tonight, Lord. God. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for blessing and keeping God. Yes, God. Yes, oh, yes, Father God. God, we know that you hear our prayers, God. Yes, you do. So we are sending our yes. prayers up to you right now, uh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ask you, oh God, to touch him, to love us, set free, God, in every aspect of each and every one's life, God. Yes, Lord. Physically, mentally, yes, Lord. emotionally, financially, yes, God. Yes, Whatever they say in me, God. Yes, Lord. Supply that need, God. Thank we God. know that you are Jehovah God. Hey. You are our provider, oh, Yes, God. you are. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank Jesus. you, God. Yes, Lord. For what you've done. Yes. What you're doing. Do it. And we know you're going to do what it. What you're about we to do. We love you. Yes, Lord. We love we you. Praise we praise you. We praise you. We give you all the glory. Give all you all the glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And Jesus name. we thank you for the victory right now. Right? right now for the victory. And it is so. And it is so. And so it is. And so it is. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Right. God, right. God bless you tonight. God bless you tonight. We love all of you. Uh, I see uh, other people online. Um, I'm afraid to start really calling no. names. I'm not passing it, though. No. <laughs> because um, we'll see you next week. Um, there were a lot of new people online tonight, all the way from Colorado. You know who you are. God bless you tonight, and we'll see you next week to join in once again with walking into scriptures and speaking truth bible study god, god bless, bless you, you. Good and night. good night mm -hmm. ah, love you <laughs>